Yeah, you just made me think about um, Nipsey when he did his CD yeah. um, for $100. How did you first learn about Nip? Oh, man. Um, you know, I used to roll with Big U a lot, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Big U, uh, Black Sam. Uh, you know, just all the homies over there, and I used to run with Lil G Bob and Tiny G Bob to rap with Nip and Cuzzy Capone and Infant J Stone, you know what I'm saying? I, it's, you know, it's all love, man. My homegirl Stacy actually been knowing Nipsey since he, before he was even rapping, and he used to uh, be at this shop right there on La Brea. And he used to help her out with the food and stuff like that. And um, that's when he was fucking flat top and shit. You know what I'm saying? He was, you know, he was a little kid, man. And um, just to see him prosper like that was, uh, I was real proud of that. You know what I'm saying? And um, it was fucking sad how, how, you know, how he got done. That shit was fucking sad as fuck. And it was like, um, um, like Black Sam had got me in the front row, man, and he had me sitting in the second row, and I was fucking crying like a baby. Like, especially when they show him as a kid with his little brother, that shit was just too overwhelming for me. You know what I'm saying? And it, it's like, goddamn, motherfucker tried to do everything to bring his people up and to, and to bring, you know, to show motherfuckers how it should be done, and to get done like that by your own people is fucking is, is sickening. Absolutely. Um, I. I met Nip in uh, 2008, which was right after the flat top. <laughs> yeah. He had already started growing his hair long. Yeah. And um, I knew the day I met him, this dude was going to be big. No doubt. There was something special about him when I first met him. I just saw it in his face, in his eyes, that this guy was super motivated. Yeah. And he actually had skills. I listened to all three of those mm -hmm. mixtapes he put out. A bullet ain't got no name. Yeah. And... Um, Obviously, you was a big supporter because this in 2009 when you came to his thing, he really he wasn't internationally known. No doubt, no doubt. And um, you know I know Robin Hood and all those guys over there. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's man, it's I used to hang out with them anyway. You know what I'm saying? Um, especially you know uh, I used to be on 10th Ave, 11th Ave all the time and, and just hanging out. You know what I'm saying? Um, it was like once I got back on my shit to the fullest. And I start working with X and, and Dre is helping us with the shits and we picking beats out of the fucking Aftermath catalog. And I was hearing songs that uh, was out, like Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar shit and shit like that. And people, you know, it was crazy, man. But I, it was like, um, um, it was like, I know that nigga would have been like, cuz you back on your shit, J.O., you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, we got to do some shit. I, I wanted niggas to see me elevate again, you know what I'm saying? And like I was proud of them, I wanted niggas to see me elevate and be on my shit to the fullest, to where I'm not taking no shorts, I'm not playing, I'm fucking serious about my business and, um, and about my craft, you know what I mean? So I, want, I wanted that cat to see me, you know, elevate again, you know what I'm saying? All right, I wanna go come back to the movie because I had a couple questions about the movie. Um, now there was a scene in the movie where your mom, your mom says, we moved from Virginia to mm -hmm. California for better opportunities. Yeah. I felt like she was trying to get me back out there. Like, take your ass back out there. You know what I'm saying? And um, I wouldn't. And I remember one time they tried to leave me back out there and I wouldn't stay. And I popped up back and I was like fucking 14 years old. And they're like, how the fuck you get back way out here by yourself? Shit. I, I'm going to make a way. You know what I'm saying? I, I didn't want to leave. It was more of a poverty thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, we was in the fucking projects in, in, in Virginia, you know what I'm saying? And shit was just always motherfuckers shooting and somebody dying and shit like that. So once we came to California, it wasn't like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, we moved right in, in my neighborhood and we was on, um, first we was living in East San Diego and then we moved to the hood and we was like, right there on Ozark. So I had to walk the Gompers to my school and that's where I met all my homies, Big Mike Loke and all them niggas, you know what I'm saying? And um, and what the crazy part was, we moved right in the neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? And it was like, nigga, I'm, I'm fucking with the homies. I start hanging out and it's like, this just where we moved. I don't know, man, but back then, it wasn't just about 
fucking with somebody because they was from another side and shit like that. It was more of a, nigga, this is family, cuz, you know what I'm saying? These are my bros, you know what I mean? If we go to jail, we go to juvenile hall, whatever the fuck we go through, nigga, it's about us, you know what I'm saying? So, and, you know, if you really in the shit as a kid, you're gonna have allies from across the way, you know what I'm saying? Some motherfuckers you're gonna just click with no matter what side of the tracks you from because you know, if you getting into shit, you go in the juvenile hall, you gonna run into motherfuckers, y'all probably gonna squabble up, or y'all gonna come to odds after that, or whatever the fuck. So you gonna have some niggas you cool with that's probably, you see them walking down the street, you know what I'm saying? They be like, hold up nigga, we can't jump this nigga right here, this is my nigga, you know what I'm saying? I know he, he enemy or whatever nigga, but nah nigga, hey go ahead nigga, go on that way nigga, you get a pass nigga, I ain't finna let niggas jump you, you know what I'm saying? You will have that respect. Thanks for watching StreetTV.net. If you're not subscribed, please hit that button below and click the bell to receive alerts and notifications. Feel free to comment below so you can give us your feedback and be sure to watch the two related episodes to the right. If you want to support this platform or follow us on social media, visit the links in the description. Thanks for watching StreetTV.net.